Welcome to Excel Array Formula Series number eight. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook. Excel Array Formula Series 1 to 14. Hey, this is an excellent trick number eight. We're going to learn how to use the frequency function to build frequency distributions and histogram. Now, um, I want to click up here first because there's a slight problem with the frequency function. If you have labels. We have some oil time over here, right? And we want to count 0 up to 20, and 20 up to 40, and 40 up to 60. But for this category right here, 20 is not included here. It's included down here. If you have this set up, the frequency function will not do that without doing a little tweaking. Now, I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. That is a great formula that will do exactly this. So if your category for uh, frequency distribution or histogram is 0 up to 20 but not including it, this formula works awesomely. You can do a search for my video on histograms at the Excel YouTube channel and see, I show you all about how to calculate that. But here we want to talk about the frequency. I want to click in uh, these three cells and we need to have bins before we can do the frequency. We actually have to say what the upper limit is. So I'm going to say equals, and I'm actually going to click on that cell right there. Notice all the cells are highlighted, so I'm going to control enter. That's just a quick way to get all of those. Now let's do the frequency function, and we're going to run into trouble, and we'll figure out how to fix it. Equals frequency, and this is an array function, so you have when we complete it, you have to hit control shift enter. The data array, I'm going to click in the oil time and control shift down arrow. And then I'm going to hit F4. I didn't need to do that. That's just a quick way to get back up to the, the top here. Um, you do not need to lock it. And then comma, and it wants bins. Now, these are the upper values. And unlike up here, these upper values are included in the category. Close parentheses, and then Control, Shift, Enter. What? 4138 up here we got 3148 that's that is not the same as up here hey the reason why is because when you say bin 20 that means it's counting everything 20 and below 20 is included on this line so if you really do have a category 20 up to and not including 20 here's how you can get the frequency function to work click in this cell and F2 and then minus a very small number, minus 0 0.12345678910, control enter, and then click and drag it down. So none of those are actually 20, they're actually 20 minus a very small number. So that's a way to trick the frequency into having categories just like that, 3148. Now let's look at another uh, excellent use. We can use the fact that frequency includes this upper value on this line, if you have a situation where you have the first category less than or equal to some value, 20, and the next value is above 20 and up to and including 40, notice 20 is not included on this line, and this one is above 40 and up to including 60, and finally, there's a category that'll catch everything above 60, the frequency function works perfect. So let's try it. And the way it is here is we have bins, one, two, three, but we're allowed to highlight one extra cell for frequency, and it'll catch all the ones above this bin right here. Remember, when you're using frequency, 20 is the upper value, and it is included on this row. Highlight that range right there equals frequency. And we need our data array, so I'm going to scroll up here and click in the very top one, Control Shift Down Arrow, and then comma, and I need my bins. Notice I've highlighted this one cell for our above category. Close parentheses, and this is a array function. So you hold Control Shift and then tap Enter. And there you have it. We have these very specific categories that the frequency function works perfectly with. Less than or equal to 20, four of them. 20 up to and, and including above 20 and up to including 40, 13, 8 here, and there's 0 above. Now watch this, just to, to mess this up right here. Let's type in a minus value, which of course you couldn't, or no, let's less than uh, so let's type in minus 2 and just see what happens. 
Oh, sure enough, it got it there. And let's type in here 100. See, and it caught it there. So when you have categories like this, boy is the frequency function excellent. If you have somewhat standard up to and not including 20, you have to subtract a little small value. And otherwise, there's always the alternative that for frequency distributions and histograms. All right, we'll see you next array trick.